right. So, um, we are a nonprofit and been in existence since 1974, the Louisiana's first community health center, and um, governed by a board of directors. Uh, the requirement is that 51% be users, ours is at 73%. We earned, uh, we're the first clinic in the state to earn Joint Commission accreditation in 1999 and primary health care home designation in, in 2011. We have 13 locations in five parishes that also overlap with St. James, so we actually say six. We employ 165 individuals and we have an $18 million uh, uh, operational uh, revenue generating uh, budget. Next slide. Our service area is, uh, is indicated on the map. We have three sites in St. Mary Parish, a school-based clinic in Baldwin, one here in Franklin, one in Morgan City, two sites in Terrebonne Parish, one in Homa, Dulac, uh, Assumption Parish uh, in Pierport, Lafouche Parish, we have one in Thibodeau, Galliano, and uh, five sites in St. John, Edgard Reserve, and then three school-based clinics that are functional as we speak. Uh, we did actually the latest numbers. We actually did uh, 68,000 encounters last year and served 22,500 people, uh, generating about uh, 16 million dollar economic impact. Paid 1.3 million dollars in federal tax and a half a million in state and local taxes. Uh, so our total tax impact was 1.9 million. Next slide. Uh, these are the locations of our uh, clinic and the services that we provide in those parishes. Next slide. And these, uh, for those of you outside of St. Mary Parish, if you wonder, we do have uh, other sites and this is what they look like. This is our clinic in Dulac. This is our clinic in Homa. If they look alike, it's because um, we were awarded a grant to build one facility and we convinced the feds that they let us split the award, we can build two. And so we contracted with the uh, economies of scale. We got the same architect, same engineer, contractor, and did both of them uh, and opened up at the same time. This is our Morgan City location, uh, which we will be uh, offering uh, dental services soon, uh, in addition to primary care. This is Pier Port. Uh, we were able to get a $1 million grant last year, uh, last month that we are going to renovate. This is an old, this is how Tash Clinic in Franklin started in a house that was uh, uh, providing services when I arrived here 34 years ago. Uh, so this building will stay there, but we've located a piece of property about two blocks away and we'll be uh, renovating it uh, in the next uh, year or so uh, and expanding from about 1,800 square feet to about 8,000 square feet. This is our reserve location that is co-located with the public health unit there and we are working with the folks in St. John to increase uh, services and to do a collaboration with them. Uh, across the river in Edgard next to the courthouse, you see the courthouse in the background is our Edgard location. And um, next, we, this is our clinic in Galliano. If you look from that door across, right across the street is uh, Lady of the Sea Hospital. Uh, we are providing uh, mental health as well as uh, primary care services there. And we're hopefully in the next year, we'll be providing telepsychiatry there with a grant from LSU in New Orleans. This is our Thibodeau Clinic, which was once a church. You can't go wrong when you're in the house of God, so we converted it uh, to a primary care facility and uh, we've been operational there for about a year. This is a school-based clinic, the only one in that whole region uh, up until we opened in St. John. We've been in existence there for seven years and uh, last year we had our biggest um, uh, penetration and, and number of encounters uh, and have been recognized for the work that we've done there. And um, we don't have it out, but our mobile unit is behind the building there. We have a mobile unit that services those. These are some of the collaborations, and I saw Peter Kasmick uh, in the back there. Pennington Biomedical Research out of Baton Rouge. We're involved in an NIH grant, one of only two nationwide, where we're doing a weight loss program. And Peter, there's Peter, if you want to raise your hand. The next name is uh, Stephanie. That program is going very well. Where's Mr. Brent? There he is there. He's the post of war. He's lost 30 pounds on the program so far. Um, so it's a program that, uh, that, that we're very proud of. We also have a collaboration with LSU Health Sciences Center out of New Orleans, uh, actually and one out of Shreveport uh, on colorectal cancer screening. Um, uh, we have an affiliation with A.T. Steele University, which is the oldest osteopathic school in the country. I have the pleasure of serving on the Board of Trustees for that university. 
and we have five physician assistant uh, students that are coming next week that will spend the whole year with us here in Franklin and get all their training uh, in this community. Um, I, Tulane University, we have a medical student rotation. I had the pleasure, I'm the past president of the Tulane Medical Alumni Association and uh, we've enjoyed a great relationship with them through the years. We have a affiliation agreement with the University of South Alabama, the Health Center Control Network uh, with the LPCA. We're a member of the 504 Network of New Orleans. The National Association of Community Health Centers and Geralda Davis, the Executive Director of the Louisiana Primary Care Association, is right there. You want to stand up, Geralda? Okay. The Louisiana Primary Care Association, we're serving right now 350,000 people statewide, touching one in every 13 people in the state of Louisiana to get their care through a community health center. Um, Gerald and I actually are alumni of the same high school in New Orleans, so we have a connection that goes way back. Um, St. Mary Familian Community Action Agency, our longtime partners. We were both born out of the 1965 uh, War on Poverty with Lyndon Johnson. Community Action, my mother-in-law uh, was one of the first teachers in the Head Start program, and uh, Ms. Franklin is the leader of, I think, the premier Community Action Head Start program in the state of Louisiana, if not the nation. St. Mary Parish Council on Aging. The dynamo is Beverly DiMaggio, who just keeps going strong. She's never afraid to say her age. I'm 81 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Beverly has uh, done an outstanding job. Uh, the next, next slide. Franklin Foundation Hospital. Uh, we've had a partnership and we're about to put on what is a, one of the more, and Gene Fulcourt is the chairman of the board of directors of the hospital. Uh, I don't know if Mr. Um, Cudgeworth was able to make it or not, but we're about to do a very unique uh, program called Fit, Fun, and Fabulous in Franklin, where it's a health fair that is being uh, directed to downtown with the merchants and the businesses that I don't think anyone else has done. That's going to be the second year of that. Tesh Regional Medical Center in Morgan City is a partner of ours. I don't know if he was able to make it. St. Mary Parish Council, the City of Franklin, Morgan City Council, St. Mary Parish District Attorney's Office, Sheriff's Office. School boards of both St. Mary and St. John, the Chambers of Commerce, uh, we are members in St. Mary, Terrebonne, the Fruits Assumption, and River Parishes, Shea Hope, and many, many more affiliations. And so that's it. Um, that's it for that. That gives you some context, and what I wanted to do next was just give you some national statistics. Uh, nationwide, we're serving community health centers about 24 million people. Um, we just celebrated 50 years of service. Uh, we have been, and you have a fact sheet right there that shows you that we have been uh, a tremendous economic engine in the communities that we locate. But in addition to that, we've improved the health care of this country tremendously. I always tell the story the first time I went to Washington 30 plus years ago, they put up a map of the United States and on that map, they had uh, Louisiana, and every parish in Louisiana was designated as a professional shortage area. And I was wondering, uh, much like I'm sure you, Governor, it's like with the feds acknowledge that, why, aren't we, why don't we have more community health centers in the state of Louisiana? Well, at that time, the legislature felt that Charity Hospital was the safety net, so we didn't need community health centers. So we, the Primary Care Association formed Jerome in 1984. Actually, it was 82 when I got here, and the emphasis started. It was four clinics. And at that time, we couldn't buy attention. We couldn't get arrested, as they say, to get attention. But we would go every year to the state legislature and ask them, why don't you please apply for these federal monies that are sitting out there to help rural communities, in particular, that had no access to care. And so that's how the movement started uh, here in Louisiana. Uh, there were four centers, and, and, and you now can see the fruit of that labor. On a national level, it, was, it mirrored the same thing that we had in Louisiana. So we've had the good fortune of, I had the good fortune of being the president of the, the chairman of the National Association of Community Health Centers. And um, we continue to work today. We've enjoyed bipartisan support throughout our history. Uh, the first President Bush doubled our, our funding, the second President Bush doubled our funding, and the culmination of uh, the biggest uh, expenditure that we've had came through President Obama, the Affordable Care Act, and, and 
He put monies that all those buildings that you saw got us out of old trailers, old schools, old churches, so that we can build the capacity that we have now to have a place where people can come and be served, anticipating that we would get Medicaid expansion and that we would serve even more people. So um, that's how we kind of arrived at where we are uh, today. And um, this week has been designated in August uh, for us to celebrate the work that all community health centers do nationwide. And of course, we are extremely proud in the state of Louisiana that we were the first community health center. Uh, we won't be the last. We've grown, we have 200 sites nation, uh, statewide right now. We're not in every parish, but it's our intent to continue to, to do so.